Hello everyone, welcome back to my little world. Uh, I'm Katie and I'm here today with Charlie and my baby Emmy and I would like to welcome you to our Sunday video. I apologize, yeah, I have Emmy here again. Uh, hmm. I know I have been really featuring her on my channel a lot, but I'm totally smitten and enamored with this baby. It's been, oh my gosh, I got her in October of the last year and it's still going strong. So I'm basically just mo like spending most of my time between her and just a little bit like um, with my Karolinka because she's a bigger baby. And I just changed my Julia, my prototype Twyla. But otherwise, I'm just completely, completely like m all of the time that I have, I'm spending with Emmy. And yeah, so here she is again. And I also want to show you something little outfit i'm going to put on her while i'll be chatting with you so and i know that um a lot of people from uh u.s community are at the doll show dolls of the world expo in north carolina bobby barfoot's show and it's its first season and it's been going really nicely i think i've been watching videos and live streams from other members who attended the doll show and I think the people are having fun in there. Uh, so that that kind of like prompted me to make this video. Well, actually, it's a couple of the things. Um, so I decided to do this video, and it's a doll show etiquette thing. Um, you know, I attended like numerous, numerous doll shows, not of this caliber, but I have four huge doll shows each year here in Illinois, and I have a big local group that we attend i attend these doll shows with so i have plenty of experience about this i also had few artists that are selling and displaying their work over there uh, locally so i'm just going to talk about that guys and the case a curious case of a lost pink unicorn from last night so well, let me just start with that and I will kind of like progress into the talk that I originally wanted to talk about. And that's like um, doll show etiquette. So last night I log in. On to, I log on to my Facebook. I go to see the doll show expo group because that's basically all I've been looking at. That's uh, the groups that I'm managing and then uh, Bobby's group because I want to see like, you know, what's going on there. And a lot of people are posting, so I've been reading the post and all that. And suddenly I see this post by Lori Duncan saying that someone stole her silicone unicorn, the pink version. She was displaying three of them, uh, white, pink, and purple version. And apparently pink version got lost or stolen, okay? Uh, the post said that the, uh, the doll or the unicorn has been stolen and... Uh, obviously she was very upset so people were kind of like pitching in all like stressed out really like disappointed because this is a premiere of the group and bobby put a lot of work into it and you you don't want to be hearing stuff like that uh when you know this is a community event and people kind of want to have that thing to go smoothly but the truth is guys these things happen even at my local shows uh, Jacqueline is, has been dealing with uh, lost items a lot, unfortunately. So, you know, I was, I was reading that. And then this morning, I go on there again. And there was a post that the unicorn has been found. So after all that rukus, they found it. it was, apparently, it fell behind some kind of boxes and the storage on the table. And yeah, so it was... The unicorn has not been stolen, it has been found, but people once again now are very, very upset about the artist uh, doing like haste decision, posting a post about someone stealing the unicorn when, in, as a matter of fact, the, the unicorn has been there like all the time, somewhere like stuck behind the table. So you know, I feel like uh, <laughs> things like this happen once again, as I said. Hold on, guys. 
So there's there are ways how to prevent this, but uh, you know I will get into it it later. Let me just show you the outfit that I want to put on her, guys. And I'm going to put on her this beautiful romper. It's one of a kind handmade romper that I purchased actually from Inessi's one of Inessi's sales like years ago when I was expecting my Queenlin. So you know, in 2018. And I wanted a nice homecoming outfit. She was coming at late spring. So I got her this and I found this little bow. And please excuse my nails. I need to get a manicure. My gel ones just fell off. So yeah, so this is it. So I'm going to be putting this on her while bringing up my topic, which once again is a doll show etiquette that I think we all should follow. Hold on, I'm going to close the doors. So, as a first first thing, uh, let me put this off of her. What is the main problem at the doll show? Obviously, we're talking um, about security. I heard that Bobby had security guy, and she did have a back checks. Also, there were two types of bands on the dolls that not only people were getting a bracelet like the members who are attending or people who are attending the doll show but also the doll so when you were getting into the doll, doll show your doll had the bracelet and when you were leaving the doll show and you purchase the doll from one of the tables the artist your doll would get the different type of a it's kind of like a tag on on a leg it's a different color and they were doing back checks and uh, they are actually doing back checks because the show is still on today. You had to show the proof of the purchase, so all that. But then again, you have back exits that cannot be blocked. Some people were suggesting that uh, these exits should have been blocked because people were saying, yeah, they do uh, back checks at the main entrance, but nothing was checked at the side exit or something like that. Um, and people were suggesting that these side exits should be blocked or locked, which uh, it's not possible, guys, because of the fire department regulations. If anything happens, especially at uh, events with so many people attending, you'll need to have multiple fire exits in a, in a, you know, in a case something happens. I mean, fire <laughs> is a serious thing. So you know, and you have to follow fire regulations. But I feel like um, what should be probably provided more at these doll shows, it's more security, guys, you know, checking, and also the cameras. I don't know how are the main cameras on the doll show floor, but uh, I would most definitely, come on, Charlie, I'm not going there. I'm sorry, guys. I would most definitely, probably, if I was an artist and I was selling silicone, especially the dolls of such value, I would probably have a set of mini cameras at my table. And I would have a sign. It would not be uh, like secret, cam like me taking secret camera footage. It would be there, the sign. And I love this type of a sign. It's Smile, you're on camera. And I do think, is it going to prevent like people who are determined to take something? Probably not. But it is kind of like uh, people will be like, oops, you know, maybe I don't know where are the cameras. Are they just pointing at me at this moment? Like what's happening? So that's what I would do. I think my husband would co completely like, he's really good at these things. So he would install these cameras because... You know, unfortunately, things like this happen, and people yesterday were so very upset, which, you know, any seasoned artist who has been selling items on big doll shows will tell you that this, unfortunately, is a sad reality these days, and uh, a lot of items get lost. So, uh, to the doll show etiquette now, guys. I'm sorry, Charlie keeps, like, I don't know. Uh, to the doll show etiquette. At our doll shows, 
and also at Bobby's Doll Show, there is, there are uh, stroller regulations too. Not at all doll shows. Uh, let's say our King County Doll Show, we can't be bringing strollers in because it's a huge space over there and you have the space to walk with multiple strollers in there. But at that doll show at Bobby's, it was packed, guys. Uh, you, of you, All of you who were watching it, I think you saw that attendance was crazy. I mean, in a good sense. So um, I'm glad that she did have stroller regulations. And you cannot um, get in there, I think, with the stroller that was wider than 17 inches. And she was offering the rental of those little umbrella strollers. Uh, I think at the Rolls Doe Show, they do the same thing, which is a great idea. And, you know, people... <laughs> I'm personally, and this is just my personal now thinking, guys, if I was going to a huge doll show, I don't think I would be bringing my doll. On one hand, I probably would like to bring a doll because you have all this fun at the lobby and then, uh, you know, collectors are sharing their babies and all that. But on the other hand, traveling with the doll of this value, especially when you have more expensive doll is kind of icky plus uh let's say i would like to take emmy on one hand on the other hand i don't like when people touch my dolls and i'm just going to put it out there this goes also for my local meetups and local doll shows and i told even my local ladies please guys i love you don't take this like in any bad way i i'm just not the type that i i like to take people's dolls and walk around with other people's dolls i love to admire okay i love to see the dolls of other scalps that i have i like to see the work of our other artists don't get me wrong but i just prefer to do it just uh visually i just look at the baby i i'm not the type that will go into your stroller to grab your doll and to be walking with it or do stuff okay and a lot of people don't do that a lot of people like to be holding the dolls so i do understand that we are all curious but at certain point i know i don't know like what what are your thoughts on this and I, this is now not any snobby thing okay i just want to say that a lot of these dolls like let's say i'm going to talk about from my own collection and experience this doll that you see here was extremely expensive it was and I don't, you know, I'm nervous to have this expensive piece of an art to be handled by people and strangers and all that. So that's probably one of the reasons why I wouldn't be bringing my doll probably to the doll show. Also, I would like to have like free hands. If you have a stroller, it's a hassle. It's an inconvenience, especially when the space is tight during the doll show, like uh it's not like Bobby's doll show space was tight, but there's so many, like, there's a huge amount of people, guys, walking. And just uh, watching over your wallet and all these things, you have to be, like, uh, di like diligent, I think, like, careful, you know? So also to be pushing my doll and watch over my stroller and all that and, you know, bumping into people, I just feel like, I don't know. This is just my personal opinion. I would not probably bring the stroller. And if I brought the doll for all other like fun stuff, they did have baby shower. So if I brought the doll, I would probably lock it in a hotel safe uh, during me attending the doll show and not being in a room. Because, you know, I don't know. I just, maybe I'm a paranoid person. But really, it's better to be careful than sorry. That's. The logo that i go by in my life and it's usually like it's i'm usually right about this so that's the strollers also at my local doll show so we have four of them uh two of them are hosted at kane county fairgrounds which you can imagine there it's a huge i have did a lot of like meetup and doll show videos which i will post the playlist down below in my description if you would like to see um so that space is huge. Uh, we have absolutely no problems, not even organizers or other, other people, walking around with our full-size strollers because it's, it's a huge 
basically it's a hall like a huge it's a fair county grounds and it, it was built for huge amounts of people but in naperville doll show which is hosted at marriott hotel the doll show grounds are super tiny in my opinion and there has have been like a couple of the people uh, people who were selling there express their wishes of strollers not be blocking entrances so this is one of the um points of doll show etiquette that i wanted to bring and that is if you absolutely do have to have a stroller and your baby please be mindful do not be blocking other people's booths because people don't like it it is rude and it is uh, un inconsiderate i have to say don't be like flocking this is what we always like um usually like core members of the group we always watch because we don't want to and granny one we want to be welcomed at these shows and you you know how it is i made a video years ago when we were just starting to go to these doll shows when the doll community as itself here in chicago and they were not used to realistic baby dolls and strollers and all, all these rukus and let me tell you um a lot of people were not pleased because most of the sales were happening at reborn booth and i don't think they realized that reborn people actually are bringing business to doll shows because all i see these people like yeah people do go let's say collectors of barbie dolls or american um girl dolls and uh, bjds come on charlie get in oh my gosh i'm sorry guys they do go there but uh i feel like the most attendance and most attention are getting reborn dolls and also since a um, lot of us have been going to these doll shows and our artists have been having booths booths at these doll shows i attendance like tripled this is coming from the organizer of the doll shows and you know i think like reborn community here in chicago is growing partially because they can go to these doll shows they see the dolls they see it's fun and you know as we are experiencing this crazy growth within the community constantly community like oh my gosh like quadrupled since i've started like eight years ago almost so that is one thing as i said be considered also i don't know about the touching of the dolls uh when you're a vendor now um i've seen people yesterday on a footage which i really don't want to like i'm not going to be naming names or anything but if i was i know that maria lynn grows a grower uh, she was maria lynn grower she was providing satin gloves for people who would like to handle her finished dolls <clears throat> i have not seen um like some other silicone sculptors and vendors having the gloves and i've seen people just touching the dolls uh, click on dolls rubbing them same also goes for vinyl like people if you are at the doll show and you have the absolute urge to touch it and i think everyone everyone who has not been experienced who has not experienced like certain level of the art or they're new or they're never like touched the silicone doll i do understand you want to do it i wanted to do it myself but you know um let's say jacqueline okay when she does exhibition like and doll shows at her booth she does have a rule please do not touch and if you absolutely you would if you would like to hold the baby there are baby wipes and she's also providing gloves uh you do have to wipe your hands and she prefers like with certain dolls if the gloves are worn which i don't blame her and i feel like it would be crazy okay i do understand it would be crazy like at uh, the size of the doll show like bobby's it's hard to ask at every booth okay you need to wipe your hands you need to wipe your hands so that's why i think that etiquette comes into work here and people should be considerate without being told that you know be considerate and be respectful and just you know also now we have the clothing booth uh with clothing um same as my doll at my doll shows um 
when you go and you go through clothing and you are looking at like if the seller has multiple styles and multiple fabrics you also want to see everything right because uh one of a kind outfits they cost a lot and even if they're not one of a kind let's say imported pieces are expensive so you kind of like you want to pick the best one for you and for that you have to go through like a couple of outfits i understand but you know guys don't be digging like in kmart in there with stuff flying and left it in piles you know just i would just suggest lift it nicely and put it back i guess this is what i do i don't leave a mess behind myself and i see i think uh the more people more consideration and respect should be shown to the vendors to organizers to sculptors artists and also fellow collectors because i don't want to come to the booth where uh, the artist or the vendor is upset and there's a mess uh stuff all over i'm not saying this was happening at bobby's show okay guys i'm just like i'm going through like general doll show etiquette and stuff that i've gathered and information and opinions that i've uh, gathered throughout the years uh, what else so that's that's it i think this is what i just wanted to talk about here is emmy looking also cute i'm i'm loving her in this little romper it's so beautiful and i'm so glad i Added and I this is one of the outfits like staple outfits of mine or like special outfits that I have had for years and I've never even considered selling because you know people who are following me and my boutique you you know that uh like let's be honest here about 80% of the outfits that I buy and I show here on my channel or on my Instagram I use them once or twice and then I sell them because I get bored very easily. And I'm not going to be apologizing for it. For some people, it may sound waste wasteful, but I do offer these outfits after one wear on my doll. I do offer them for discounted prices. It must be like really like designer piece or anything that I'm not like discounting grossly or anything because I don't want to be losing money. Uh, constantly just because I put it on my doll once this is not a real child but yeah I do offer a lot of stuff for great prices and because I get bored I like to experience the new things and new outfits and also I think the part of it is me not having enough space in this house I don't have my nursery I don't have my like separate room where I could be having my hobby stuff so i need to be mindful about that and i still like to shop so i mean you know guys like cycling and circulating and recycling i think that's the motto of today's society in general so yeah uh, what else uh oh my gosh yeah one more thing about this doll show etiquette and this happened a couple of times it happened mm, I, don't, I don't think it happened at bobby's show i have not heard of it i've seen some kind of a talk about one person i don't want to be spreading disinformation or misinformation so i'm not going to say it happened there but it did happen at Rolls doll show a couple of times and that's when the artist didn't pay for the table at the doll show but they decided to be selling their stuff somewhere else on the hotel premises usually secretly from their room and i find this as a very rude and offensive and like generally against the rules i don't find this as a good like i don't know it's to me it's completely unthinkable you know you either buy the table or don't go to the doll show to do like business like that um I mean doll show generates the customers for all the vendors who paid for their stuff so it's not really fair for you to be offering stuff somewhere in the parking lot from back of your van or in those cases that i've heard of from secretly from your room and that there was actually i don't know it was a sculptor i'm not going to name her or anything but it was the sculptor and artist very like well known who did this twice and who probably I don't know if she was planning on doing it here or not, but yeah, it did happen. It did happen, and 
people know about it. I don't know what were the repercussions if she was banned from the doll shows, from that particular doll show that it, where it happened or not. But I, we have the same role in our group because our group is right now at 74 members, official 74 members. And you can imagine mass impact that we have that when we come to the doll show. I mean, can you imagine? We never go like in full force, but we usually have like 25 people like at our at our pumpkin farm. It was almost over 30 people, I think, in attendance. So there is a rule that all of our members know. It's posted publicly in our group on Facebook. And we're reminded like before every um, doll show that we plan on attending. And that is do not bring your dolls that you have for sale to be offering on the doll show premises. You can do it at your car after the doll show. I'm sorry, guys. Or you can, we prefer if people do it at the restaurant or we go for lunch or we go to sit like after the doll show. So do it there. If you have something for sale, absolutely not a problem. But if you have not paid for the table, do not go advertising your stuff. Also, one time when we, it was at the Kane County Doll Show. I remember I was standing by my stroller at the parking lot. We call it a parking lot. It's at the back of the uh, doll show floor. And it's right next, next to the food court. And there's like this big empty space. So where that's where we park the strollers. And at that time, this so-called parking sp space where we were standing with our uh, strollers and everything, it was right next to Jacqueline's booth. And there was this lady who came and uh, she was, you know, walking around and looking at uh, Jacqueline's dolls and Jacqueline's one-of-a-kind clothing that she's doing, you know, because she's also designing uh, adorable outfits. Once again, you can see everything uh, during my doll show videos. And this person was going around handing out also like business cards, like secretly, okay, this is my nursery. And if you would like to purchase the clothing, I'm also making clothes. And she was literally uh, standing very, like right next to Jacqueline's booth going and giving the business cards to other people. Once again, I know this for some people, this is a common business practice. Please don't do that. Uh, at other people's vendors booths, these people paid for that table and they didn't pay for other artists to come and advertise for free. I hope that, you know, I wish that people would understand this. I mean, everybody wants to build their business. So, but you know, you also have to like spend the money if you want to expand your uh, business. So if you feel like you would like to sell and you would like collectors to know about you and your nursery and your creations, I feel, uh, why don't you buy the table and bring your stuff so people can see it? I mean, it is the best kind of advertisement, the local advertisement. And I just, you know, don't do it. Don't do it at someone's table. I mean, you, uh, I don't want to say like, don't do it at all, because I do understand that people go to uh, events like that to be advertising, even if they're not paying for the advertisement space. But just do it somewhere like off the doll show floor, I guess, you know, and maybe before like in front of the entrance, which I, it's kind of like questionable too. But most definitely do not go to other artists' booths to be advertising your own work. It's rude. I would not tolerate it if I was an artist or even vendor. Even if I was going there and it, you can do it. Uh, there is an opening at our doll show that you can purchase the table and you don't have to be selling the dolls like physically. You can bring, if you have like insane amount of baby clothes and accessories or doll accessories, you can bring it and try to sell it there. So how would you feel if you did all these and uh, paid for your table and then somebody would come and they would try to sell their stuff next to your table to your customers? I mean, it sucks, guys. It's rude. So don't do that. And yeah, I can't really think of anything else right now. I may revisit this topic later on this week because I'm still uh, about to be watching some kind of action from the doll show, some videos and posts. So, you know, I will update you. But I just 
wanted to talk about this and also update the people who saw the post about the lost pink unicorn. The unicorn has not been stolen. Once again, it has been found and it was stuck behind the table um, in between some like bins with items. So yeah, it has not been stolen. So anyways, guys, I hope that you all are having a wonderful and sunny weekend. Charlie and I and Emmy, we would like to thank you for being here with us and we will see you at our next video. Bye.